Did you know that in the 1980s and 90s, it was common in the US to have chickenpox parties, where local kids would be exposed to the viruses that cause chickenpox and other common childhood diseases. But why would you want to be exposed to a disease? It comes from the idea that once your body is introduced to a disease and defeats it, you'll be able to defeat it if it enters your body again. But how does your body do this? It's all thanks to our adaptive immune system, which is the body's natural way of defending against foreign invaders. The adaptive immune system consists primarily of various types of white blood cells. The white blood cells that give us immunity are B cells. You see, all cells have identifying markers on them called antigens. When a B cell is exposed to foreign antigens, it can develop an antibody and mature into a memory B cell. Once the invader is defeated, memory B cells stay dormant for a long, long time, holding on to those antibodies until a matching antigen enters the body again. At this point, the memory B cells release tons and tons of the antibody, stopping the infection from spreading. Unfortunately, this doesn't work for all diseases. That's why you can get the cold over and over and over again. Achoo. What if I told you there was a different way to develop immunity? One which doesn't involve our immune system at all. It involves a bacterial enzyme called CRISPR-Cas13. You've probably heard of CRISPR-Cas9, a similar enzyme which took the world by storm with the opportunities it unveiled for genomic editing, since it essentially allowed scientists to cut and paste genetic information, as well as certain entire sections of DNA on or off. CRISPR has been hypothesized through the bacterial defense mechanism against viral infection, and researchers have figured out how to use CRISPR to stop and prevent viral infections in humans too. In 2019, researchers at the MIT Harvard Broad Institute developed CARVER, Cas13-assisted restriction of viral expression and readout, which detects the level of virus within a sample and defeats the virus by destroying its RNA. It does this by looking for RNA complementary to the sequence programmed into the CRISPR-Cas13 enzyme and then chopping up the RNA at those points, preventing the virus from utilizing its genetic information to replicate, effectively stopping the virus in its tracks. Furthermore, in April 2020, Stanford researchers unveiled Pac-Man. No, not that Pac-Man, prophylactic antiviral CRISPR in human cells. Prophylactic means that the treatment is preventative. That is, Pac-Man's CRISPR-Cas13 enzyme stays within the body and kills viruses whenever it detects a complementary strand of viral RNA, stopping an infection before it can even start. This would stop about two-thirds of human viruses right in their tracks. And what's even more enticing about Pac-Man, outside of the name, obviously, is that it can most likely kill COVID-19 too. So does this mean humans won't ever get disease again? Of course not! DNA and RNA can change and mutate unpredictably. But if scientists can figure out how to effectively deliver CRISPR-Cas13 to the body, we'd be as close to immune as we'd ever get. Until then, stay safe, folks.